Some of the most important scientific discoveries have been made by chance, and this may prove to be one of them. Professor Malka Armon is not a cancer researcher, but while doing other experiments, she stumbled upon something that may offer a breakthrough in the treatment of cancer. Most of the drugs for cancer kills both cancer cells and the healthy cells. In this case, uh, the drug kills cancer cells without impairing normal uh, cells. They continue to proliferate. The drug taps into a genetic weakness within the cancerous cell itself. In effect, it causes the cell to self-destruct. The research is still at an early stage. Scientists have been experimenting on female mice. They were injected with human cancerous cells, then the drug was gradually released over two weeks. And the results were startling. The mice that did not receive the treatment developed malignant tumours. But in those that were treated, the substance either prevented or significantly slowed down the development of cancerous cells. It's too early to say whether the drug will have the same effect on humans. However, if scientists can develop a medicine that only targets cancer cells, doctors will be able to give patients a more aggressive treatment. This research is a bit preliminary because the findings, tremendous as they are, are in mice. So human, you, for, to move to human, you need clinical trials. The application in humans may be not only in breast cancer, but in many different types of cancers, leukemia included. The scientists are now applying for funds to take their research further. They hope to be able to uncover the drug's full potential for treating cancer in humans. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, at the Sheba Medical Center near Tel Aviv.